um, uh, software applications that are available on the web, um, one of which is called PDF995, and there are others called Qt PDF. Now, uh, although they create PDFs um, similar to Adobe, um, they are uh, obviously written with um, advertising and so forth, but however, they do the job. So um, to create your PDF, you simply double click on the attach PDF column on the send out tender list, select create PDF and click OK. Um, when you install a PDF writer, it creates a printer and you can see I have this free PDF 995 uh, printer installed and you select that printer. It then produces uh, your PDF and asks you to save it. So I can say here I'm going to call this concrete supply and then click save. And you can see with this free PDF um, uh, application that I've downloaded, you get all sorts of different uh, uh, sponsored ads and so forth. So I'm just going to scroll down through this and uh, what you can see is it, 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 with, with items that uh, have been included on the build page, and you can see this is the excavation and artwork section, you get a, a, a confirmation message in the amount column, do not price. Um, so items that appear, you can see my concrete work section, it, it produces the document in exactly the same format as the original bill was produced. So you get uh, items that you want this particular sub, sub your supplier to price uh, will appear on the original page that they were on, and any items that are not relevant to this particular package will be given the, the note, do not price. So you can scroll your way through um, the various package uh, that has been assigned, and then uh, pay on, on the summary page, which is the last page, you'll see you'll get a summary, which will say this is the concrete supply package, and then a notification to the supplier uh, to uh, the particular items that they are to price. BOQ page 2, item M only. Uh, page 3, A to J. Page 4, A to J. Page 5, A to F. So um, just to recap there, you, 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 you get your bill print out in exactly the same format of, as you have produced it, um, and uh, same page numbering and so forth. However, only the items uh, that you have associated to a particular package will be not marked with the items do not price. So that, that is how your, your PDF is generated. I'll just close that down a second. Um, now it can be viewed again at any point in time by just double clicking on it, click view PDF and it will bring up the particular PDF that you've done. You can then indicate uh, your way to send it. So if I double click on that column you can indicate uh, that you sent it via email or post or by courier and then you can indicate the date that you sent it out and you can attach other uh, documentation such as you know Excel workbooks or other Word documents or whatever it might be. This is really only a note for yourself as to what additional documentation you may have included with this package. And then uh, notes to yourself um, um, as to maybe who you sent it to or any other documentation that um, you want to um, you know, refer to. You can use this notes column here to incorporate that in. So um, once you have your individual packages created um, and uh, filled in the details as to what way you sent it out, when you sent it, so forth, you can then um, produce um, some printouts and I'll give you an example of some of the ones that are there on the send out tender list there is um, some printout options there um, for instance if I click on it you can see your send out tender list it'll I'll just preview that and it'll give you a list of uh, who you sent it out to um, and the date you sent it out and where the document is saved uh, that you sent out um, and uh, that would be just a, an overall list of who you sent it to you can then do subcontractor labels or supplier labels, and these come out in a standard um, Avery 7162 layout, eight columns, uh, sorry, eight labels in two column format. And you know you get you get your your um, your uh, column listed. And, and the final option is just a, a list of your subcontract contacts or supplier contacts. So um, the uh, 
send out tender list really just allows you to create the PDF based on the coding that you've done in the job, uh, indicate how you've sent it, when you sent it, and any other attachments and some notes that you may have. So that really is a, a very quick overview of what the uh, BETS module does. Now I'm just going to quickly recap on that again. Um, the first uh, and most important part is that you set up your code files. Um, these are the packages or the way in which you want the job to be uh, split up and divided. Uh, once you have that established, and that is done in the job summary under the file menu, view or 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 two code files. The only difference between these two is um, the uh, length of the code. The or is a three character, the or two is a six character. They do exactly the same thing, and um, they're just um, different size fields. Once you have um, uh, your code file set up, you turn on the BETS module. Now, I already have it turned on, but you get, uh, in the, when you do it for the first instance, you'll get a message to say um, that it is turned on and ready to go. You then open up your first package. You highlight the section or sections that you want to go to a particular package. You click on the BETS icon again, and then you associate the code um, by double-clicking on the code and setting it and clicking OK. And that then sets the code for those particular descriptions that you've highlighted. Once you have that done for everything in your job, you then come back to the summary, click on the BETS mode again, and you get your send out tender list. To create your PDF, uh, firstly, sorry, um, to establish your suppliers and sub subbies, you click on the view supplier icon, you establish your trade names, and then when you drill down below, you can set up a code and a name for each subby. Those that you want to use, you can highlight and transfer onto the send out uh, tender list. Once you have that done, you can then create your PDF by simply double clicking on the attach PDF column, and it will create your PDF. Again, just to reiterate here, the best, um, you need a PDF writer, so Adobe Acrobat is the most popular although there are some free ones there, one of which I've used, PDF995. If you look at that on the web, on Google, if you bang that into Google, you'll find it. The uh, only issue really with that is the amount of uh, sponsored ads that pop up. So once you click OK, it creates your PDF. It asks you to save it. I'm just going to save it, replace what I had there, and um, then you get your, your document produced uh, uh, with all your items um, grouped uh, as you would expect. Those items that appear on the bill page that you don't want this particular subcontractor to price will be given the do not price in the uh, amount column. So that's at uh, any point in time, then you can, you know, review or, uh, you know, um, view the PDF that you created uh, by simply double-clicking on the column and then viewing the PDF and away you go. Indicate how you send it out, indicate the date that you sent it out, and any other attachments and some notes. So um, essentially, that is the BETS module. It's a very straightforward and easy module to use. Um, the setting up of the codes in the initial instance is the uh, most difficult, as it will need a bit of forethought. Uh, of course, these codes are really totally user-definable, um, and uh, that, that, generally speaking, is the, is the, the most difficult part. Um, once you turn on the BETS mode, you can then drill down, highlight your items, click on the BETS mode, and associate the package code to those descriptions. Once you have that done and you hit the BETS mode on the job summary, you'll get your send out tender list and the PDF and whatever will be created from there. For those of you who do have the subcontract comparison module, um, it is important to, um, uh, to do a sort on the job and bring it down into the subcontract comparison module. Before uh, doing that, you would need to run this option, BETS copy trade codes to OR or OR2. That takes the codes out of BETS and puts them into the OR and OR2 column. Again, uh, don't worry too much about remembering all this as we will be following up with an email, uh, but with both a link to the video of the webinar and some support documentation. But strictly speaking, I'll do this and I'll copy it into the OR code, click OK, and when I then display my OR2 code column using the display screen columns, you'll see the codes have been automatically inserted 
into the code column. Now you can see this top section was sent to one package. This concrete worth section um, will be sent to multiple. So that code will be um, on the OR2 down in the rate buildup itself so that it would go to multiple packages. Um, so if you are a subcontract comparison user and you use the uh, BETS module prior to doing your um, sort, you would need to go to the tools menu and, um, sorry, on the trade breakup, go to the tools menu and copy the BETS codes into the OR or OR2 column. Okay, so that, that is a wrap on the, on the BETS module. Um, what we're going to have a look at now is the update trade rates function. Again, this um, is very useful um, uh, for reflecting changes that may happen at the last minute to your rates in a particular job. So I'm going to open up um, the block C job here, and I'm going to open up my code file that I'm going to use for, for this, and I've called it webinar. And uh, strictly speaking, what I've done here is I've set up a, a, a simple code for excavator hire, excavator labor. Uh, uh, and a couple of different types of concrete. And uh, I have a substructure section here, and in this substructure section, I have um, uh, a basic ex excavation network section, and I have this fully rated, as you can see. In my rates, um, I'm just going to highlight this particular rate here and drill down. And I've simply built up this rate, saying a quarter of a day, 100, 140 euro for excavator hire, excavator labor, again, quarter of a day, or three quarters of a day, at 85 euro um, per day. And all of my rates, you can see I've associated the component part to uh, a like code. So I can see excavator hire, I have a code for excavator hire, and excavator labor, I have a code in there against that item for excavator labor. Similarly, what I've done uh, is 